Okay. So what I want you to do, now don't hurt yourself on this, but I want you to take your fist and just lightly, I'm going to get close so you can hear this. I want you to use your muscles to punch your hand. Okay, and I want you to hear the sound. Can you hear how it kind of goes smack? Are you able to hear that in my microphone? Yeah, okay, good. So I'm controlling it. I'm using my muscles so we, we could say that in this instance, we're in charge, right? We're, um, what we would call this in, the, in Tai Chi philosophy that um, my ego is directing the energy because I'm doing it, right? So now I want you to do the opposite and as much as you can, you might practice it a couple times, is that I want you to lift your fist and then just see if you can just let it go of the muscles and let it drop. That was pretty good. Yeah, so the more you let it go and let it drop, that was nice, surely, yeah, good. And can you, can you, yeah, that was great. Can you hear the difference in, my, in mine and certainly in yours? So the more I let go and I just let gravity do the job, that was nice, Melissa, then it's a much more powerful punch, isn't it? Yeah. There, that was it, nice. Can you hear, you can hear and you can feel the difference and you can hear that it's a more resonant drop because it's more powerful. This is what we do in our chin style too. When we drop the foot, we're not stomping the foot, we're just letting it go. So when we do our chin, we lift up and then we drop both. Yeah, you wanna try that? If you're not in my chin class, you can fake it till you make it. So. You just put the back of your fist in the back of your, into the palm of your hand, and your left leg and left hand come up together, so you're lifting it, and then you just let it go. Yeah, that was quite nice. So there's a lot of power when we let go. When we don't let, when we turn off our ego and we just let gravity work for us. Now, some of you have seen where I've taught that we want the weight of our body to be on the bottom half. So if I had water in my arm, then I would want that water to be sinking down to the bottom half of my arm. So the more I let go of my muscles, the more the water sinks to the bottom of my arm. If I'm engaging my muscles, then the water floats up to the top, and then I'm rigid, and that can be used against me. So, it, tai Chi really is a process of letting go and just letting the water settle down to the bottom of your whole body, whether it's the upper body pouring into the lower body or even dividing your joints and arms, uh, extremities in half and letting the water sink down. So that when you do this, you're letting the water sink to the bottom of the arm, to the bottom of your, your Tai Chi stance, and you're letting it go. Yeah, so now listen to the difference here. I've got this thing, which you know, some of you have seen this in our live classes, but if I use my muscles, there's a certain high frequency resonance to it, resonance to it, but when I just let it go, do you hear the difference? Here's, here is, here's me controlling it, thank you, Melissa, and then here's me letting go. I swear I'm using less effort, less muscles. Now I'm gonna get in my Tai Chi stance and I'm gonna think that I'm sinking down into my lower body. And it's even, yeah, that was good. Good, John. Okay, so when we do our single whip, there's this moment of grace, I call it, where we are settling down because we've been moving and I'm, no matter who you are, the best Tai Chi in the world is still going to be collecting a little bit of, of that water at the top. So we come into our single whip and we're just sinking the water down. So I'm sinking the water to my hamstrings, to the bottom of my feet, the bottom of half of my legs, my upper body's pouring into the lower body, my limbs, all the water sinking to the bottom of my limbs. Now it doesn't mean that when I do that I go, and I shrink. I'm still exp 
expanding, but sinking the weight so that I'm very rooted. All right, so here we go. We're gonna go this direction first. So you even start by sinking those elbows. Mm, someone said, it makes it feel like your elbows have more mass. That's what you want. Heavy, waters down to the bottom. Then you have lots of stability, see? Turn and then go with it. Connect the heel to the front foot or the foot with weight on it. And then let's settle. Settle those tea leaves down. Let the weight sink down. And your elbows are heavy and your knees, the top of them lifting up just a touch. And you'll feel this beautiful structure. Good. Come back to the front. Scoop the left foot in. Read the book, hold the bell. Make sure you're not squeezing your elbows in. This posture here says, don't hurt me. This posture says, bring it on. That's what I want. I want bring it on. There you go. Nice, now turn. Go with it, connect your heel to the front foot. And then once you get there, just settle it all down. Let the water just sink down to the bottom. And then a light lift to the top of your knee. It's not something you do physically, it's all in your mind. Good, come back. Let's do one more to each side and I'm gonna watch you a little more carefully now. Expand, no tightness here, open up. Turn, weight shift, connect the heel, and then sink the weight down. All right, let's go to the other side. So nice hook grasp. All four fingers are touching the thumb like this. It's like a beak. Okay, there you go. Now, turn, weight shift to that front leg, but connect the tailbone. Your, your right leg is still bent and expanding. You're still sitting down. 